Hey guys, welcome to the Team Panacea call. We do this call every Monday night at 8.30 Central. This is your go-to place to find out what's going on, what works, what doesn't work, what people look like other than just their thumbnail on Facebook, and just kind of find out what's been going on lately. Um, lots of cool stuff going on. Hold on just a second, let me fix something here. All right. Um, some cool stuff going on right now. Uh, some of you may have noticed that you got some leads from the United Kingdom recently. They were taken away <laughs> because they weren't supposed to give them to us yet. But, you know, a little birdie told me uh, that we're going to hear something early summer about another international expansion. So I'm just putting two and two together and thinking that we can maybe figure that Beachbody is going to the United Kingdom uh, this year. To what extent, I'm not exactly sure, but that's pretty cool. You know, right now it's just United States and Canada. And, you know, if you happen to know anybody across the pond, being one of the first coaches in the United Kingdom is a pretty cool deal. Um, you know, I don't know that I'm doing it, but I guarantee you that a lot of the heavy hitters, a lot of the big earners will be going to the United Kingdom when this happens and, you know, and, and hosting events over there and, and doing what they can to, to get things rolling. Um, you know, I'm not saying necessarily that that's what, anybody on this call needs to be doing but if you know people over there or if you have the ability to start expanding your network uh, then I would strongly suggest that you do that um, I don't know if you guys saw my my post in team pan but Cody and I are going to be putting together a group we hadn't figured out the name yet but something probably along the lines of a reignite group or something like that to just kind of get people rolling and get people re-engaged in the business so that, you know, business starts picking back up. We, the business is cyclical. Um, you know, January is generally a pretty good month. Um, February is, is decent too. <clears throat> Things kind of slow down a little bit right now. And, you know, there's, there's been, um, there's been a, a period of transition with the beach body on demand because you know, it's, it's just, it's the way of the future. I mean, people are not buying DVDs as much as they used to and they're buying beach body on demand. And in case you didn't see also what we put in team pan or what I put in team pan, uh, what they've, what they've done is anybody who has bought beach body on demand this year, if they've got a Team Beachbody account, whether or not they used the Team Beachbody account or not, they're going to go back and retroactively give those coaches credit for that. Because what has happened is, you know, some people who have Team Beachbody accounts for one reason or another went to Beachbody.com and ordered it there. And we don't get credit for that because it's a different entity. And so they're fixing that. Um, also, if you saw in Team Pan, uh, well, let me actually, let me get back to that Reignite group. What we're trying to do there is, you know, we're looking for people who are lifetime emeralds <coughs> or, you know, in, in the uh, instance of Mr. Coker here, somebody who's going to make emerald in time to be in that group. Um, but we're, you know, we're looking for people who, you know, are, are serious about about this business and, and serious about making success club you know this business is is a mindset and you know the reason that I had the level of success that I had and have had is because one I've never missed success club once I made it I never stopped making it and so I'm like 75 months in a row or something like that and you know it, it's it's just that imperative to to do it you know and and the thing about the thing about this business is the same excuses that that we often use to explain to ourselves why we're not 
able to make this business successful is the same reasons that people give us for why they're not buying a challenge pack or why they're not willing to get in shape or anything else. It's all about time and money. You're like, well, you know, I would be a successful beach body coach. I just can't afford Shakeology or, you know, I don't have time to work out. And if that stuff that goes through your head, then of course you're not a successful beach body coach because if you don't think you can afford Shakeology and you don't think you have time to work out, then why would anybody come to you to solve those problems? You know, you have to be the leader that people are looking for so that you can tell them, look, you know what? I had the same issues. I had the same excuses. But what I realized was, what I found was, when I made it a priority, then I was able to make the time to ha make it happen. It's not about finding time. You know, it's about making time. I used to drive Cody crazy when I first got started. <clears throat> you know, she'd say, hey, what do you want to do tonight? And if I hadn't got my workout in, you know, I'd be like, well, I don't know. But the one thing I do know is I have to work out. And she'd be like, golly, you know, are you serious? You know, you're working out all the time. You're talking, to face talking on Facebook all the time. But, you know, for those of us with spouses who are, are um, a little bit hesitant or a little bit resentful about that, I promise you, when you start making money, they become much less resentful about it. You know, that's exactly what happened with Cody. Um, you know, so I, I wanted to start with some, kind of go back over some of the basics um, because we're, you know, that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna be doing over the, over the next couple of months is, is kind of focusing on, on the basics. But one of the things is obviously you have to be doing a program. And you have to do it front to back and you have to do it how it's supposed to be done. You know, when, when I started P90X, <coughs> um, you know, it took me about a week. But when I decided, okay, I'm going to be serious about this, you know, I, I, put, uh, I put away my beer. I put away the pizza. And, you know, and, and I, did it, I did it two times back to back. I had one day off in between. But, you know, I had my been there, done that shirt. Again, if you don't have time to work out, why is anybody come to you? Why is anybody going to come to you to help them stay motivated about working out? So, you know, for 90 days, no beer, no pizza, no burgers. Man, I ate tuna from a can. I drank water. I didn't have any. I didn't drink any Coke. Um, you know, I, I didn't do any of those things. And that's what moved my business forward. And I, and I tell you, one of the things, not only did people see the change that happened to me, but the thing was, was I couldn't shut up about it, right? I mean, when I was talking to somebody about P90X, I was so excited to be having that conversation with them because I knew from what had happened to me that if they did it, and they did it right, it would absolutely change their life. You know, at the end of that 90 days, they would be a completely different person than they were 91 days earlier. And then, you know, a little bit farther down the road, the business factored into that also. You know, when I, when I was making, you know, about a year and a half later, when I was making as much money with Beachbody as I was as a, you know, police sergeant, when I was talking to somebody about building, you know, becoming a coach and earning money, I had that same level of excitement because I knew if they did it and they did it right, it would absolutely change their life. And it wasn't because I'm like, oh, if they buy this challenge pack, I'm going to make $40. Or, you know, if they buy this challenge pack, I'm going to make $50 or whatever. It was because I wanted to help them change their lives. We're trying to find solutions for problems that people have. And that's a very important mindset to have. You can't look at people and, and think about what is it that you can get out of them. You know, it is, what is it that I can do to help them? Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough people get everything that they want, you can have everything that you want. And that's not any more true than it is with Beachbody 
or probably any network marketing business because the, because this is a beach body call we'll just go with beach body you know <coughs> and the thing about beach body that's different than the wine business or the lipstick business or the yoga pants business is you know putting people in yoga pants or in fancy lipstick is not going to change their life right i mean it might change their life financially but it's not going to change their life physically and so you know one of the things that i say all the time is i was a cop for 17 years i was a, i was on swat for 15 and i did a lot of cool stuff i did some hero stuff and saved some people's lives but i've done more good for more people better people as a beach body coach than i did 17 you know for 17 years as a cop and you know i'll i'll, I'll take that to my grave because it's it's the gospel you know because the people that i'm helping actually want my help it's not you know I'm, I'm not at this woman's house again saying yes i know your son stole your tv again because he's a crackhead and you keep letting him back in your house you know or anything along those lines it's people that are willing to do the work so here's here's what i want to talk about I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna <clears throat> i want everybody you know if you were on the call the other day <coughs> I know we've got we got a decent amount of people on a, on the call tonight. You know, one of the things that I want you to do, if you did it a couple of weeks ago, and if you did, I want you to add to that list. But you need to have a list of people that you know that could benefit from being in better shape or earning more money. And I'll give you a hint: that's everybody you know. Right? I mean, everybody you know could benefit from being in better shape and earning extra money. And one of the things that we need to, you know, one of the, one of the mistakes that all of us make that I made was saying no for people. So my challenge for you guys is to add 50 names, five zero names to your list of people that you think could benefit from being in better shape or earning extra money. And I want you to start talking to those people. And, you know, I know that there's a lot of scripts and people talk about scripts and stuff like that, but I want you to think about how it is that you react if somebody sends you a message and it says, hey, Chris, how have you been? I hope things are good. I'm so excited. I've just started this new business and it's beach body and, and you know, and it's like two paragraphs long and it comes out of the blue from somebody that you hadn't talked to in months and or years. I don't know, well, you know what, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you probably don't read that or you probably don't pay any attention to it because I know I don't, right? And so think about when you're having these conversations, think about how you would act if you're on the other side of this conversation. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking to Coker earlier, you know, and I'm just going to use him as an example because, you know, he's been a coach for a long time, but he just sent me a message lately. He's like, hey, you know what? I'm ready to do something with this. And so we're kind of just starting from scratch. But, you know, that's one of the things that I talked about with him is short is sweet, right? I mean, it is, you know, when you're talking to Jane, who you hadn't talked to in a while, go over there, click like on a couple of things on her page that you legitimately like, right? Don't be fake comment on a couple of things that you actually have some interest in and then shoot her a message and say hey looks like you had a cool time in florida looks like your new job's going well looks like you know your new puppy's great yada 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 how things been and just start that conversation again worst case scenario you've reconnected with an old friend best case scenario you end up changing their life helping them get involved in something that that could really change their lives you know but you can't just send out a blanket email and and want to get those kind of results you know or get good results you know the other thing that that i want everybody to do if if you, you know you haven't been doing this already is go to your suggested friends list and add all those people right 
you know, when, when I signed up as a beach body coach, I was like, I'm not going to get my coach was like, Hey, you need to get on Facebook. I was like, I'm not getting on Facebook it's for geeks, you know? And he's like, no, you got to get on Facebook. And my coach at the time, he was actually still in the air force national guard, you know, but he soon, you know, ironically he left after 17 years. I thought he was stupid. And then I left after 17 years in the police department about two years later, <coughs> people thought I was stupid and they were wrong. But, you know, so the thing that I want you guys to think about is when somebody who is in a position where you want to be, you know, and, I, and again, I'm not trying to be egotistical, but, you know, let's say me, for example, I'm a full-time Beachbody coach. I talk to people on Facebook for a living and, you know, and, and do pretty well, you know. So if I tell you, if you come to me and you're like, hey, I want to, I want to be a successful Beachbody coach. And I'm like, okay, cool, do this. Don't give me any nonsense about why you don't want to do that or why you can't do that. Just say, okay, and go do it, right? Because that's what, that's what I did to begin with. But it was very momentary, you know? I was like, I don't want to be on Facebook. And he's like, well, you need to be if you want to be successful. And I was like, well, he's successful. So, okay. And I was like, okay, but I'm only going to be friends with people that I eat dinner with. You know, I'm not going to be one of those guys with like hundreds of Facebook friends. Clue you in, I got about 4,000 now and like 4,000 followers or something. And he's like, no, you got to be friends with everybody. And I was like, all right. And so I became friends with a lot of people. And so, you know, where do you find these people? Well, first of all, in the beginning, it's, it's suggested Facebook friends. Now, I'm going to tell you, don't go into... You know, uh, don't fill up your friends list with a bunch of coaches, okay, that you don't know because they're not going to buy anything from you, right? And you don't need to change their lives. They're already changing their lives. So you want to find people who aren't coaches, right? And you're like, well, where can I, where can I find those people? Well, where did you go to high school? I bet your high school has a Facebook page. I bet your high school has an alumni page, right? I bet your college has an alumni page. I bet your favorite football team as a page, you know, I bet the kind of car that you really love has a page and you go in there and you, and you know, don't spend all day in there, but go in there, comment on a couple of things, post a couple of things. If people comment back, you know, then get that conversation going and then send them a friend request. If they accept it, cool. Then if they don't, that's cool too. I don't know the answer to that question, Coker. I mean, uh, I don't know if Facebook jail is a thing or not. I mean, I've done like two 14-day stints, but it's been years since I've been in Facebook jail. But, you know, to begin with, you know, send out 10 or so a day. And, you know, and there's a way to look at your pending friend requests. And, like, if, if somebody hasn't accepted your friend request, friend request in, um, you know, in a few weeks, then you can, you know, you can abort it or de delete it or whatever. Because I think that one of the things that they factor in is, you know, how many outgoing pending requests you have. And so, you know, I mean, if they haven't accepted your friend request and it's been a month, then, you know, it's probably okay to go ahead and delete that. But, you know, three to five posts a day, one of them being about fitness, right? And then the others about being who you are, <coughs> the movie that you saw, the movie that you're thinking about seeing the movie that people might suggest that you see. Like I was talking about earlier before everybody got on the call, <clears throat> you know, Facebook has an affinity algorithm to where they decide how many people are generally interested in your post. And so, you know, you want to post something that a lot of people are going to comment on. And, you know, one of those things is politics but I really suggest, especially in the beginning, that you kind of stay away from politics. I'm invested enough and set enough to where every now and then I delve off into politics a little bit, but you know, it's part of my brand at this point where you know, people understand I'm a, I'm a Texas conservative and shut up, Jenna. And, um, and, you know, and it's part of my brand, but I guarantee you it's cost me coaches. Right. I mean, I, you know, after the election, you know, I don't know what exactly it was that I posted, 
But one of, you know, I'm conservative, like I said, one of my super liberal friends quit and gave me a bogus reason about why she quit. I guarantee you she quit because, you know, she didn't like the way I voted, you know. And so more power to her. She re honestly, she wasn't doing anything anyway. You know, like I said, she was liberal. But, um, you know, it's just one of those, one of those things. Um, you know, <clears throat> because the thing about this business is nothing's going to be handed to you. You have to do it. Your business is exactly where you deserve it to be based on the effort that you've put in. Um, so, you know, posts about anything that is going to get people going. You know, I mean, one, one of my coaches had a great deal going where it, it had, you know, he would take movies from the 80s and or 90s that were kind of similar and be like, which one? You know, and it was like, now I'm not going to be able to think of, you know, Beverly Hills Cop or Lethal Weapon. Which one? You know, which, which one was better? And he'd get 30-something comments, you know? And so those are great for that affinity rating. And then right after you get something with a ton of comments like that, that's the time where you come in and you're like, man, you know, had a super busy day at work today, really didn't want to work out but I did anyway, and I'm so glad I did, because now I feel great, you know? And it's okay to, you know, you don't, you, you don't wanna be fake, right? You never wanna be fake, but you don't wanna be an Eeyore either, right? So like, if you're having a really crappy day, or something's going really poorly, you can talk about that, but you have to always close with the silver lining. You know, which, you know, you can say something along the lines of, man, you know, today sucked. You know, nothing seemed to go right. But I know that tomorrow is going to be a better day. Tomorrow's a different day, and it's going to be a better day. Something along those lines. You can't ever post something negative and just leave it negative. There's always the positive outlook. The only thing that you can control in your life really is your attitude and the way that you react to situations. You can't always control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude about it and, 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 and how you react to it. If you work out in the morning, that's fine. There's people awake in the morning too, you know, and, and you can post, post that stuff in the morning. People will see it. And, you know, and, and it just sets the tone for the rest of your day. You know, if you guys, I'll tell you, you know, one of the things that, that um, if you can think about, like, like I said, three to five posts, and if you can build something into your brand about something that you post about every day or consistently, that's a very good thing because people will start commenting on, or, or sharing stuff with you about it, right? So like some of the things on my brand, um, you know, is, I mean, there's cop stuff, of course. Then there's, you know, tripping tourists, right? You know, instead of like taking a normal picture in front of something, you know, I pretend like I fell down and I, and I take a picture. And so, so you know, the, I don't, I'm sure you guys have seen, because it's, it gets shared on my wall still, like once a week. I don't always... I don't always approve them anymore, but you know, there's one girl who she videos herself falling down, like carrying a tray of fast food and throws it in the air. And you know, she's in the middle of a McDonald's or something and, and you know, she's a big old scene. She steps out of a boat and falls into the ocean face first. And, and so, you know, I mean, it gets shared on my page all the time. Um, you know, there's another meme about a guy, um, you know, I don't remember something about, you know, running and, and, you know, or falling and, and the paramedics being need to be called. The other thing is, is um, people who use apostrophes or don't use apostrophes when they should drives me crazy. Right. And so I post about if I go out and I see like a professionally made sign that has something misspelled 
or is got an apostrophe in the wrong place. Like, you know, Hey, I'm going out. I mean, this isn't a, uh, uh, it wouldn't be a sign. Well, you know, somebody who like, you know, all of our mattresses are on sale apostrophe mattresses, you know, Oh, I'm posting that because the mattresses don't own anything. Right. It drives me crazy. And so people share that stuff with me. If you're a coffee drinker, you know, one of the, one of the things that, you know, one of, one of the other successful coaches did was, you know, every morning she posted about her coffee of the day. Now, you know, she had to, you know, maybe invest a little bit of money to where she had different kind of flavors, but it was like, you know, Hey, good morning, people. Good morning, Facebook. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm just sitting down with my, you know, hazelnut coffee. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life, so I, I, it's not my wheelhouse. But, you know, if she missed or she was late on her coffee post, people posted on her wall saying, didn't you have your coffee today? Or, you know, people would actually send her coffee. If they went out on vacation or they saw, you know, a crazy brand of coffee, a flavor of coffee, people would send her coffee <clears throat> because, you know, that, that was part of her brand. So you want to be, you want to be, um, you know, you, you need things that people are going to associate with you. When they see it outside of Facebook, they're going to be like, oh, that reminds me of Kim Bickle. Or, you know, hey, that reminds me of, you know, Jenna or, or whatever. And maybe they're going to take a picture and they're going to snap it and they're going to share it on your page or whatever. But all of that builds that affinity rating and it just builds your brand, right? You know, the, 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 the thing about your brand is, is, you know, you want somebody to be able to look at your page over the last week and pretty much know who you are, know what makes you, you. Because the thing is, is that anybody can buy these programs from Beachbody. They can buy them from Amazon. They can buy them from whatever. But we need to give people reasons to buy these things from us, you know? And it's, it's interesting that people think about that, you know, one of the common things that people think about is they're like, well, you know, I can't post about fitness right now because I got 100 pounds to lose or, you know, or yada, 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 you know? But, you know, one of my friends, Danielle Natoni, who's had a six pack, like since she was born, I think, um, you know, <clears throat> She talks about how people who are heavy set or have a lot of weight to lose, they can't identify with her, right? Because they, like me, think, probably mistakenly, that she was born with a six pack. And so they can't identify with her. But they do identify with somebody who's on the road to losing 100 pounds, you know? So wherever you are in life, whoever you are, there's people that will identify with you who wouldn't identify with me or somebody else. So it's very important for people to be able to see on your page who you are. But again, you have to build that affinity rating and you have to have enough Facebook friends or Snapchat followers or Instagram followers or whatever your social media is to make that work, right? Because if you've got 100 Facebook friends and you're planning on building a team of, of thousands, it's going to be pretty hard, right? And, and, you know, honestly, you know, a 2 out of 10 ratio, pretty fantastic, right? You know, people think that successful coaches, you know, when they, when they hear that I make Success Club 75 months in a row, they're like, well, you know, Everybody he talks to wants a couple of challenge packs. I guarantee you that's not true. You know, I have told you guys a couple of times about, you know, a couple of girls, I'm not going to say their names anymore because we'll post this recording, but, you know, who've told me, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to sign up. And, you know, one of them's going on like nine months, you know, and she hasn't signed up yet. You know, the reason that I earn more success club points than the next person is because I talk to more people then the next person, you know, there's coaches who earn a hundred success club points a month. That blows my mind. I don't understand how you sell 50 challenge packs in a month. Actually, let me back up. I know how you sell a hundred challenge or 50 challenge packs in a month. You talk to 10 or 20 times more people than I do. 
because, you know, on a good month, I sell five, but I always sell at least three, you know? So it's not that, you know, those successful coaches have this special place where they go, this special Facebook group where they go and they're like, hey, combat's on sale. And, you know, somebody's like, ooh, me and my whole family of six would like our own copies. You know, that's not real life. You know, the people that are successful, more successful than you are, the reason they're more successful than you are is because they fail more often than you do. Because everybody's ratio, honestly, guys, everybody's ratio is one or two out of 10. So, you know, the thing is, is if they sign twice as many coaches or customers as you do, it's because they talk to twice as many people as you do. You know, Jim Rohn's um, uh, Building Your Network Marketing Business, which is free on Amazon, not on Amazon, on Audible, right? And it's like 99 cents if you buy it on Amazon, I think. But, you know, it, it's, I highly recommend it. But one of the things that he talks about in there is he talks about somebody having, you know, talking about competing with him. And he's like, I don't care, you know, if I've got a three to 10 ratio and you've got a nine to 10 ratio, because I'm going to beat you because I'm going to talk to more than three times as many people as you do. And that's the kind of mindset that somebody find that, that uh, network marketing link and, and throw it in the comments for me. But, um, you know, it's, that's the kind of mindset that it happens. When I signed up for this, my mindset was, if this was legit, and I tell you guys, when I signed up, I was pretty sure it was a scam. To be honest with you, I was pretty sure it was a scam. But I knew people who were successful, and I didn't think that they were full of crap. And so, you know, I was like, okay, if this is really successful, if this is really legit, then I'm going to succeed at this. And I never, thank you, Coker, I never changed my mindset on that. When I, when I signed, you know, when I realized, hey, you know what? It's 100% up to me how successful I am. I never looked back. Quitting never, ever crossed my mind, right? Because I knew that if it was up to me to decide if I should succeed or fail, I was going to choose to succeed. And I'll tell you, you know, you guys, I had that first two years of my business, I didn't watch any TV except for Survivor, never missed an episode. I know some of you get tired of sitting here and that, but I have to, I have to qualify that. <clears throat> but nothing else got in the way of me reaching my goal every single month. You know, even working overtime for 50 bucks an hour, which used to be good money, you know, somebody would be like, hey, you want to come work this overtime gig? And I'd be like, no, man, I got to work my beach body business tonight. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're an entrepreneur. You're going to leave this job one day, right? <laughs> and I was like, hide and watch, man. And I did, you know? And so it's one of those things about buying your time back, you know? I don't, you know, I don't throw down the numbers that I used to, if I'm being honest. But the reason is, it's because I don't work as hard as I used to. I still make Success Club every single month. And I'm about to dial it up a little bit because it's time, you know. I've been slacking off for about a year, you know. I mean, really, if, I'm, if, we're, if we're talking about it, you know, working maybe eight hours a week over the last year. But, you know, Pretend there's a disclaimer, right? You know, results vary, yada, yada, yada. But if I can work eight hours a year and make over, you know, or make somewhere between $400,000, $500,000 a year, I think that's worth investing a few years in, right? You know, I mean, because the fact is, counting my day job and beach body, in the beginning, I worked 80 hours a week. You know, I mean, I ate, slept, and breathe Beachbody in the beginning. I was constantly thinking about 
how can I make my business better? You know, when I'm out and I see something, whether it's a misspelled sign or, you know, I've actually got like a, a post, uh, I'll post it later. Nine o'clock's not a bad time. I might post it here in a few minutes. But, you know, I saw this guy with like all sorts of action figures super glued to the hood of his truck, right, driving down the highway. And I was like, oh, my God, Cody, take a picture of that. I'm so going to use that later, you know. And so it's about, you know, always being in business in a business mindset and thinking about hey you know what i can i can save this and i'll tell you i mean you know it's it's to the point where you know successful coaches will be out maybe it's late at night or maybe it's super early or we'll think of something or we'll take a picture or we'll we'll see an article that we want to that we want to share and you know and we'll say that because we're like well i just posted something 10 minutes ago I don't want to post again, or, you know, it's four o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the morning. This is a great post. I don't want to post it now. Right. And, and, you know, one of the other things that is, is if you got a great post, not necessarily a picture, right. But I mean, sometimes it can be a picture if it's good and it gets a lot of traction, save that thing. And you can post it again in three months. You don't always constantly have to be thinking of new stuff. Well, actually you do, but it's okay if you have a crutch there and you're like, you know what? I got a hundred comments on this thing. Last time I posted it four months ago, I'm going to post it again. Don't share it. Okay. So it's already got a hundred posts. Just post, post it again and build that new group of people. You know? So one of the things that I was talking to Coker about, he's doing P90X3. And so I was like, you know, if you're just getting started, post something about, hey, man, I'm doing P90X3 and I'm loving it. I loved P90X. I didn't really do P90X2 or I thought it sucked or whatever. You know, who's done P90X? Has anybody done P90X or another Beachbody program? And a lot of people are going to comment. And that's a great place to build your list from about, you know, who is it that you want to talk to, you know? Hey, I'm doing, you know, I just had my shake today. You know, I have this every morning. Has anybody tried Shakeology before? And, you know, you're going to, you, because you, the thing is, is that I guarantee you, for most of you, that you have friends on your Facebook feed that are buying stuff from Beachbody already. They're just not buying it from you. And it's the same price, whether they buy it from you or they buy it from Beachbody. Or maybe they're buying it from Joe Garbage the Ragman because they were assigned to Joe Garbage the Ragman as a lead. And they're like, well, I don't know Joe. I'd much rather Natalie get credit for this. And so you're like, hey, you know what? Can, can, can I send you a link or can I get you switched over to where if you order something, I'll get credit for it? So <clears throat> that's a kind of a shotgun blast of, of kind of new coach things. But, you know, the things that I want you guys to, to, to think about, build that list of 50 people, start talking to them, don't send them a script, actually have conversations, three to five posts a day, one of them about fitness, the other's about who you are, build your brand. Somebody should be looking at your Facebook and if they look over your posts over the last week, they should know who you are and what makes you tick. Um, Cody and I are starting a reignite group. I posted about it in Team Pan. If that's something that you're interested in and you've been emerald before or you're emerald now, I'd love to have you in that group. The expectation is that you will make Success Club. Speaking of Success Club, if you see the post, um, you know, because I have five accounts that say Chris Reed on them um, because of my rank. I don't want to get into that, but once you achieve a certain rank, you can sign yourself up as a coach again. And so I actually earn money from five different Beachbody accounts, but um, you know, four of those accounts I keep active, which means that sometimes I have to order stuff. So I actually have a plethora of three day refreshes right now. So 
the coaches who make Emerald for the first time between now and the end of the month, going to put you in a drawing to earn a free, uh, we're going to send you a, a three day refresh. If you're one of those coaches, I mean, we've got, you know, 3,400 people on team panacea, uh, that's open to anybody in the downline. I don't care if they're your coaches, 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 coach. If they make Emerald and they haven't been Emerald before, I would love to put them in that drawing. Um, and let's see. I think that's it. Super Saturday is coming up in April. You need to find one close to you. You can look under events in the back office and find out where it is. And I'll tell you again about Super Saturdays and about events. You know, I never missed one until like the most recent one. I, I missed it because we had tickets to the symphony. But you know, <clears throat> even when I would go to Orlando in January and I would run a marathon on, or a half marathon, depending on which day it was on, you know, I live in Texas, I'm in Orlando, running a marathon or half marathon, I would finish that race, I would Uber to the Super Saturday and attend the Super Saturday. When I was just getting started, I would take vacation to, to attend Super Saturday if I had to work on a Saturday. If I was working midnights and I got off at six in the morning and Super Saturday started at eight, I went to Super Saturday and then I took a nap afterwards. Even though essentially for me, it started at 1 a.m. in the morning or midnight. You know, for me, that's what time Super Saturday started. But I went. I missed my kids' soccer games. I missed stuff like that. But the, because I did that is why I go to every soccer game now. Because I did those things is why I now don't have to ask anybody permission to do anything with my kids. I don't have to ask anybody permission if I can go on a trip. I don't have to ask anybody permission if I can go eat lunch with my kids or go to their soccer game or go to their birthday party or anything like that because I made those sacrifices in the beginning. It's a little counterintuitive sometimes. Okay, you know, I mean, it's a running joke among Beachbody coaches who are building our business where, you know, we're in here and it's our business hours and we're focused and, you know, your kid runs in and they're like, hey, dad, will you go throw the ball with me? And you're like, be quiet, go away, I'm trying to spend more time with you, you know, but I am because I'm buying back my time. I'm, you know, remember when I talked about that I worked 80 hours a week in the beginning and now, you know, for the last year I worked eight hours a week. The reason that I can work eight hours a week now is because I worked 80 hours a week then, counting my full-time job. This business can be whatever it is that you want it to be. You know, in the beginning, I was like, hey, I just want to not lose money. And then I was like, okay, I want to not have to work overtime. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll actually leave police work. I really love it. But... Maybe I will, you know, and there's some people who are like, oh my gosh, I love my job so much I would never ever leave. And so my challenge to you would be make so much money that the reason you go to work is because you just really love it. And I think that a lot of you might find out that you don't love it that much, you know, that if the reason you're going to work is because you just really love it and not because you need that paycheck to make ends meet, then you might find yourself in a posi different position because that's where I found myself. Anybody have any questions or comments? Anybody have something to add? Everybody's muted, so you'll have to unmute yourself. There's the unmute. Hey, Chris, I'm really encouraged that you're offering a group for people wanting to reignite because I think that's going to be really helpful. So thanks for doing that. Sure, of course. You know, I mean, and, and I tell you, it's as much for me as it's for anybody else. You know, again, 
you know, one of the things, because I can't be on people's asses about not working their business if I'm not working my business at, at, at an, an acceptable level too, you know? And so, I mean, and, and so, you know, that the same thing as far as your workouts, you know, I mean, I posted about finishing my workout every day. And in the beginning, especially, there was times where I didn't want to work out because I don't really like it, to be honest with you, but it helps me make a decent living and, and I'm banking on it helping me live longer. But, you know, it makes for a great post too, where I would be like, you know, I would take my after workout po picture and I'd be like, man, I really didn't want to work out. But I knew afterwards that I would feel better and good that I did. And I also wanted to be able to post my workout picture or a post that I worked out today. And so, you know, it's about keeping yourself accountable. Right? We, it's the speed of the leader, speed of the pack. Okay. Okay, guys, we're running up into almost an hour now. So, you know, we ran a little long. I appreciate everybody being on the call. I want to see some new emeralds. I want to see people in this group, uh, in this reignite group. I want to, you know, but I, I want you to be serious about it too. If you come into this group, you know, be ready to work. Because I'm going to tell you, just being in the group isn't, going to build your business. You know, you actually have to do the stuff that we're gonna be talking to you about doing. We posted those links for Audible or Amazon or whatever, get that, okay? Personal development is so crucial to this. It was the last thing, the last key to building this business that I got. But if you drive an hour to work every day or half an hour to work every day, you should be listening to something that's going to make your life better. It doesn't always have to be about how to build a business. It can be how to manage your money better. It can be about how to be a better parent. It can be about, you know, how to be a better spouse or whatever, but spend your time wisely. When I signed up as a beach body coach, I played video games five hours a day. I was a call of duty maniac. I was so lame that I would actually do play by plays of old, of, of other people playing a game called uh, Company Heroes. Great game, by the way, loved it, right? It's funny that people make millions of dollars doing play-by-play -play on video games now, but you know, I missed that window uh, and Beachbody's treating me okay. But um, anyway, you know, I stopped playing video games. In the beginning, it was like, okay, I'm not gonna play a video game until I do my workout, you know? But then once I started building my business, I was like, you know what? I really love playing video games, but it's not doing anything to make my life better or make my kids' lives better. So I stopped. I play video games again now, sometimes on my phone. Natalie knows. She gives me a hard time for playing my Robot War video game on my phone, but I can do that now because I didn't do it then. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on the call. Success Club this month. Emerald this month, if you haven't been, get your people in that Reignite group. You know, we're gonna probably start it. You know what, I'm gonna just say, we're gonna start it next week. So, uh, next Monday. So, Emerald by next week, Emerald by Monday, which really honestly means Emerald by Wednesday night, 11 p.m. Central, sign that second coach. If you're smart, you got a family member, in at least one leg, if not both legs of your business center so that you can earn money no matter where you put coaches, but that's a different call. Thank you very much for being on the call, spending your time with me, and I will see you on the boards.